So the term stinging caterpillar often catches people off guard because you don't think about a caterpillar stinging you like you would a wasp or an ant or a bee. Uh, and so stinging caterpillars don't actually have stingers, but they do have what we call urticating hairs uh, that are hairs that have barbs on them. And when you brush against those hairs, they can break off and stick in your skin. Uh, and a lot of times they will have poison in them that then causes an, a reaction to you or the animal that brushes into them. And so that reaction can range from a mild skin irritation uh, to a fever, to anaphylactic shock. It really depends on the person. So a lot of caterpillars have hairs. Not all caterpillars with hairs have urticating hairs. Uh, so a general rule of thumb that I always recommend is that if you see a caterpillar with hairs you're, and you're not sure what it is, don't pick it up with your bare hands. Have garden gloves on or something if you need to pick it up. In the spring, this time of year, we, we start to see all sorts of caterpillars coming out. Uh, right now, some of the most common ones are the eastern tent caterpillar and tussock moths. These caterpillars are not what we consider stinging caterpillars. Eastern tent caterpillars have short little hairs on them. You can pick them up and handle them and they're not a problem. Uh, tussock moth caterpillars are a little more noticeable. They have longer, more colorful hairs. Uh, these are not urticating hairs, but they do cause a mild skin irritation to some people. So we have a few species of stinging caterpillars that do have those urticating hairs that can cause health concerns. Uh, some of the most common are the saddleback caterpillar, which is named because it has what looks like a saddle on its back. Uh, the pus caterpillar, which looks really soft and fuzzy like you would want to pet it, but it is another one that has pretty dangerous urticating hairs. So that's one to avoid. And then the buck moth caterpillar is another common caterpillar with urticating hairs. The last species that does have urticating hairs is called the io moth. Um, and it's another one that you'll commonly find along wooded edges and in the landscape. Uh, if you think about all the insects that are living outside your home in the landscape, they're all a food source for something else. So caterpillars are a really important food source for birds. And so if we have caterpillars, we're supporting birds and we're supporting more functional food webs and wildlife.